How do you address the negativity in nursing? How do you address the negativity in nursing? Negativity, bullying, lateral violence, it, it's all lumped under one umbrella, but you're asking specifically about negativity. This is another question from my Hey Sean vlog series. Hey Sean is where I feel questions from the tribe and they usually start the question with the words, Hey Sean. Negativity is everywhere in nursing. I mean, come on, it's everywhere in the world. How do you address it? How do you deal with it? How do you, how do you extinguish that fire? For me personally, I don't acknowledge it anymore. It's taken a number of years, but the single most effective way to extinguish, eliminate, and squash negativity within your immediate nursing world is to never address that it exists meaning don't fuel the fire. You're gonna learn quickly that you cannot make somebody else act a certain way no matter how influential you may or may not be. There are just some people that like to see the world burn and it's just the way it is. You're not gonna be able to change them in any way. You've probably heard the saying before something along the lines of you can't change what happens to you but you can change how you react to it so I can't change what negative Nancy or negative Nick is doing but I can absolutely change the way that I react to it am I going to reflexively bite back and yell and scream am I going to figure out a way to make them feel worse or am I gonna find a way to make myself look better or am I going to rise above it, not stoop to their level, and make sure that I drown them out with positivity, with good vibes, with smiling, and good old-fashioned, hard-earned, awesome nursing care. So if you can back up what you're providing, so when you go and defend yourself versus the negative Nick or negative Nancy, if they're doing a better job than you are, then people are going to listen to them before they listen to you. But if you're providing A-plus care and you're one of those rock star nurses, no one's going to give a crap about negative Nancy and negative Nick. You need to practice what you preach. You need to be one of the top dogs. You need to be the sharpest tool in the shed and you need to be the most informed. And above all, emotional intelligence, having control over your emotions is going to save you a whole lot of heartache and it's actually going to help you win the battle on negativity because negative, the negative Nancys and negative Nicks have no control of their emotions. They love to be the drama mamas. They love to bring attention to themselves or to something that they are affecting. If you don't give them the attention, and you make sure to maintain your professionalism and your cool, even at its worst, it will eventually extinguish and eliminate the negativity that exists. Is it easy? Heck no! Not easy at all. In fact, sometimes you're going to be outnumbered. Many a times you're going to be outnumbered, but you have to be steadfast. This is not a job for the weak. Yeah, I can say that with a great deal of confidence. Not everybody can do this job. There's a reason why not everybody can become a nurse and be a nurse. Not only become a nurse, but be a dang good one. Is that there are things like this that they don't teach you in nursing school that you have to develop on your own. You have to develop the skills. You have to maintain the skill set of emotional intelligence in being well informed and being at the top of your nursing game if you want to eliminate the negativity. 
What's the tribe have to say about this one? How do you battle the negativity in nursing? Love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked anything that you heard, maybe, just maybe, you'll leave a thumbs up. Head on down below and leave a comment. You know your comments are my caffeine. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first. Thank you.